are you not embarrassed? It's about drive, it's about power. I paid myself a little bit. I'm fighting my demons. It was at this moment I realized Pilates was in fact not for me. Cheers. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Susie, it's nice to meet you. As you can see by the title, in this video, I will be trying the 75 hard challenge. Now, if you haven't heard of the 75 hard challenge before, I first heard of it on TikTok where it went viral, but the 75 hard was started by a man called Andy Frizzella. According to him, this isn't a weight loss challenge or a fitness challenge. It's a mental toughness program, and it only has five rules. Sounds easy, right? Not quite. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rule one, follow a diet of your choice, no cheat meals and no alcohol. Complete two 45 minute workouts every day, one inside and one outside. Drink a gallon of water every day. That's about four and a half liters. Read 10 pages every day of a self-improvement or educational book and take a progress picture every single day. And you do that every single day for 75 days. Yeah, so this challenge is pretty extreme. And I was instantly thinking to myself, has Andy Frizzella actually done this challenge or did he just make it up? And he does claim that he did the challenge himself and it changed his life. By the way, this video is kindly sponsored by Gymshark. You guys know I absolutely love Gymshark and you'll see me wearing their new Adapt Animal and Flex Seamless ranges in this video. I was trying and testing them. I love everything about them, the quality, the colorways, the fit. If you wanna shop any of these cute Gymshark fits that I'm wearing in this video, you can just shop them in the description box. I'll have the links, but I'm so obsessed with these new ranges. I have not taken them off as we can see. It has taken me so long to finally get Get this video up because I've been trying to start this challenge for a hot minute now. There were many failed attempts before I finally got going on this challenge. Without further ado, let's get into day one. And here is where I'm starting. So I did gain a bit of weight recently, but that's okay. Let's just say fitness and health hasn't been a massive priority for me this year so far, but we're about to change that. As always, I'm not gonna weigh myself because everyone holds weight differently. And this is gonna be more about challenging myself mentally and improving my life. So I started day one off with a 6.45 a.m. workout, Monday's butt day, the best day of the week. I did some Bulgarians, humped the air for a while, and one-legged sit stands, which I obviously am not very good at. If you guys don't know, I go to a women's only gym. It's basically a boot camp called Stronger by B. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for my indoor 45 minute workout during the week. Usually I go on average about three days a week. So five days is gonna be a lot. It is the first day of 75 hard guys. I just woke up, went to the gym at 6.45 AM and I've just gotten out. To be honest, it was not the best gym session of my life. Are you not embarrassed? But I'm feeling a bit better because I know that I'm gonna be going on a walk today as well. So the last couple of days I missed the gym because I literally just like went to sleep way too late, woke up in the morning and just went back to sleep. So I forced myself to get up today and I'm actually feeling really good and like very positive now, which is great. I love feeling like that in the morning. So I'm gonna go home now, have a little bite to eat, maybe make myself a coffee or something. Gym session done, tick. Here is how much I've drunk of my water so far. So I've started my first bottle and by the end of the day, I need to drink two of these. For breakfast, well, it's not really a full breakfast, but just to hold me over until I go out for brunch, I'm having a little bit of Vegemite on toast. This is like a pitiful amount of toast, but I don't want to have too much bread or I'm going to fill myself up and ruin my brunch. And I'm having a yellow peach because the yellow ones are the best. And of course, my iced latte with oat milk. My life. Ah. <sighs> Later on, I went to brunch with my friend Hannah. I got another iced latte and some smashed potatoes with avocado and poached eggs. It was delicious and very healthy and balanced in my opinion. And then we took my parents' dogs for a walk. The little one in the pram is Tilly. She doesn't know how to walk on a leash yet. And that's Bonnie. We just went for a 45 minute walk. So that's the outdoor workout done.
Day two started off with me taking myself on a little solo day. I've been loving doing this lately and tell me why I'm the messiest eater ever. I was trying to do a little wholesome clip of me eating breakfast, but everything was blowing everywhere because it was really windy and God was just against me that day. But I just had some mushroom toast and an iced latte and it was delicious. And then it was morning workout time, baby. Tuesdays is upper body, and I did a little bit more cardio today than usual, so I was really feeling it. Was feeling very funky fresh in my Gymshark cream set. Probably not the best choice considering I spent the entire gym session on the floor. Jesus Christ, why'd nobody tell me my tartars were about to pop out? I definitely have a six pack under there somewhere, it's just hiding. I think she's shy. Then I forced Murray to come on the 45 minute walk with me because I didn't want to do it alone. We had a nice, wholesome time. I mean, why wouldn't Murray want to come with me if he gets to stare at that ass the whole walk? It's still like an hour before I'm going to sleep, but this is how much water we have. This is my second bottle, so I'm almost done. So I'm just gonna read 10 pages of this one, which is Sapiens, which I've been reading already. Progress photo and reading the book and drinking the water. And then it's bedtime. Woohoo! Feeling very proud. I went out to a cafe for breakfast again. I'm starting to realize I have a little bit of a problem with eating out. But if you're wondering what diet I'm doing on this 75 hard challenge, I'm doing the Susie diet. Kidding. I mean, kind of not really, but I also was trying to cut down on carbs and sugar because my doctor told me that I should do that. Wednesdays is lower body again. So I absolutely smashed the workout. Also, I just like to say my undie line is so prominent because I'm wearing period undies. I literally look like a mum when I'm talking to people, hand on the hip and everything. And then it was time for my walk and Murray said he had a nice spot for a stroll, but it ended up being a hike up Mount Everest. I was fighting for my life. Here she comes. And this next part is what really goes through my mind at the gym. It's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry, we devour, put in the work, put in the hours and take what's out. God, I'm so tired. <sighs> okay, come on Susie, you can do this. Kill me. No, come on, let's go. If I keep talking to people, the trainer won't notice that I'm not working out. Oh God, she's looking, pretend like you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do I have left? Surely we're almost done. That can't be right. It only says I've been working out for 15 minutes. Cut the cameras. We're gonna rumble. We're gonna take your face off. We're gonna rumble. We're gonna- Ooh. Jesus Christ. How am I still so bad at cardio? I've been working out consistently for like two years now. What time is it? Okay, five minutes have passed. Oh, I'm so tired. Ooh, Instagram. La 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 Do I have abs yet? Damn, we'll get him next time. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay, just stand here for a while. Let's hope nobody's looking. And then pull the weights up. Nailed it. Okay, now do that exact thing, but a little bit faster. My brain fails me. Oh! Hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. Wow, this is really starting to hurt. One minute, 37 seconds later. <laughs> make it stop, please! <laughs> I'm done. Wow, that wasn't so bad. Woohoo! Yeah! I am absolutely romped by today's session. So, obviously, I've done my one 45 minute workout. <sighs> we had to do these burpee dumbbell row things where you do a burpee with dumbbells in your hands and then you have to like lift them up. They absolutely killed. Okay, I'm gonna go home now and have a shower because I am wet. Good morning, angels. Here's breakfast. Vegetarian quiche. Quite healthy, I reckon. Look at all the veggies in that. Staring out the window. to the limbo, start to 
stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong Hi guys, it's day seven and it's Saturday and the gym is not open on weekends and that means I have to do an at-home workout which I've kind of been dreading to be honest so much that I have put it off until 9pm. Not gonna lie, I would love to take off my makeup, have a shower, do my skincare and go to sleep right now. But I gotta get this workout done. And I found this 45 minute workout with weights to boost your metabolism by Pop Sugar Fitness. Looks interesting, so let's try it. This is today's fit. Just doing a little mix and matchy moment. I've got the black Adapt Animal Seamless shorts on. These are so comfy and the Adapt Animal Sports Bra in yellow. These are a longer short, which I actually really like because I find they don't roll at all and they stay down really well. Okay, let's get this workout. I like that the ladies in this video are older. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> A KFC ad did not just come on during this workout video. <laughs> God, no. I need to go have a shower now. Good workout, guys. And it's day seven, baby. This is a new unreleased outfit from Gymshark. It's coming soon. Ooh, VIP. And I decided to mix it up by trying a 45 minute full body Pilates workout. It was Sunday, which is usually my rest day and I definitely was not feeling like working out, but I did enjoy that this workout was mostly on the ground. So when it got hard, I could just crawl into the fetal position and cry. This Pilates workout was just using the weight of your own body, which seems easy unless you're like me and your thighs weigh the same as two baby elephants. I call this next one, the cockroach that's been sprayed with bug spray or the roly poly constipation fix because I was definitely feeling some movement in my bowels. It was at this moment I realized Pilates was in fact not for me. The Pilates instructor looked so elegant whilst doing every move, whilst I looked like I was trying to get my water to break. I hadn't felt confusion like this since grade 11 algebra, but everything was hurting so I knew I must be doing something right. She was not lying when she called this a full body workout because I was using every muscle in my entire body. I've never felt my armpit muscle before, but I felt it that day. And then we finished my indoor 45 minute workout with an elegant swan pose. Then it was time for my brother's wedding and we went out to a fancy restaurant for lunch after. Look, it's gonna explode. I thought it was gonna explode, it didn't. This place was so fancy, they even had mango sorbet as a palate cleanser. And here's my little baby niece, the light of my life. She loves eating carbs just like her auntie Susie. I forgot to fill my main meal because I ate it in under 0.5 seconds. But for dessert, I just had this lovely little orange pudding. Good morning, guys. I went to the doctors and got some blood tests done because I have been having trouble with my PCOS. If you guys didn't know, I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovaries. 
polycystic ovarian syndrome. I found out that I have really high insulin. Your insulin getting too high is basically what causes type two diabetes. I probably have been having more sugar and carbs than I should, but not more than a lot of people. And for a lot of people that wouldn't be a problem, but because I have PCOS, it is a problem. And it means that I need to make some changes in my diet. And I've been listening to this podcast. It's called the PCOS Nutritionist Podcast. And according to her, starting the morning with a high protein and low carb breakfast is really good. But anyway, I'm gonna make an omelet now. Does anybody else have to smell their eggs before they eat them? They smell fine. I think I might fry up this first and then add the egg. Some cooking oil, adding some mushrooms, a bit of salt and pepper. Well, my omelet flip didn't really work, but this is my finished omelet. It's got some chives in it and I just seasoned with some salt and pepper. Omelet review. It's pretty good actually. Not sure how it would taste if I had it every morning for breakfast. I reckon I could do this for a few more days. It's a bit later on and I'm a bit hungry. So I'm gonna have one of these Alani Nutrition chocolate cake protein bars. Alani Nutrition sent me these and they are amazing. Mm. They got 16 grams of protein and they got Rice Krispies. So good. Oh. I'm at the gym, it's 5.30. I have not gone for my walk yet today, which I was planning to do before the gym, but it's okay. I'm just gonna do it after the gym. <laughs> this is where our water is at. I'm basically just starting my second bottle of the day. So I need to finish that, but I'm sure I'll drink a lot of that whilst I'm in the gym. And yeah, let's get this sesh. I'm ready. I'm pumped for booty day. Wasn't feeling amazing today, but I'm still pretty happy with what I managed to get done. My asthma was definitely really bad today, and I think it's because the weather's getting colder. So I'm gonna go home now, and I need to go for my walk. When I got home, I took my progress photo. I was feeling super bloated from the PCOS symptoms. I don't think you should have to take a progress photo every day because progress isn't linear. And some days you're bloated. Your body changes every single day. And that's totally normal and you shouldn't feel bad about it. I chucked on a tracksuit and went for a hot girl walk with Murray. Ooh, ooh, get it girl, Vogue. Here's dinner. That's salmon, smashed potatoes, green beans, and some sauerkraut. And the salmon looks burnt but it's actually not. It's just the spices on top that have burnt a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. I'm excited. All I have to do is finish my 10 pages. I've already taken my progress photo. I need to finish this little bit of water. And that is tonight, Finny. Good morning guys. I'm feeling very tired. I don't want to go to the gym, <laughs> but I'm going to go and I'm going to feel way better afterwards. So let's go do this. walk of the day and I have a full face of makeup on because I was just taking some TikToks and some Instagram photos. This is what it's like to walk with your six foot four boyfriend who doesn't care if you get left behind. He walks in front of me <laughs> the entire time. Are you trying to pretend that we're not walking together? Oh my god what is that?
currently 2 p.m. and I still haven't finished my second task of the day, which is 45 minutes of outdoor exercise. So I thought I would just come home and maybe do some skipping, which I haven't done skipping in ages. As for my water, it's not going fantastic so far. I've drank that much and this is still my first bottle. I really need to hurry up and get drinking this water or I'm gonna be chucking it. But I just forgot for most of this morning, so. Also, you're gonna be like, what the heck happened to your skin, Susie? I pick my pimples when I'm stressed. I'm gonna go outside and do the jump rope now. Ooh, I paid myself a little bit, but I've only done 11 minutes. I've already paid myself. Good morning, guys. Look at this fit from Gymshark. I just got, this is one of the new paws long sleeve shirts and it is so flattering. It's basic, but then at the back, boom, crossover detail. And you can see like my cute little matching sports bra moment. So I'm feeling very cute today. We have a bit of a dilemma. Please ignore the mess in the background. <laughs> I just woke up, I'm ready for breakfast. Apparently the power is gonna be off all day. We've had so much construction work going on around our house. So I need to go out and find a place that will have like a high protein, low carb breakfast option. I don't know, I feel like most breakfasts you get have bread in them and I'm trying to avoid bread. And I was right, this place did not have a breakfast option without bread, but it did have a bunch of kale on it, so I feel like it counteracts it. I don't know why I look so weird with this sunglasses and hat duo. As always, I ate like it was my last meal on earth. Like, girl, calm down. Nobody's gonna take it away from you. The staff probably thought I was having some sort of quarter life crisis, but I smashed that with an iced latte and it was delicious. It's like 2.30 and I have been reading my book right before bed but I'm gonna read 10 pages of my book and go for my walk and get them over and done with or else I will leave them until like 6 p.m. I read to page 36, which is actually 16 pages because I kind of got interested and I didn't want to stop reading. breakfast it's just got spinach leaves banana some frozen fruit and I'm gonna add a little bit of this gorgeous greens powder and this thrive plant protein vanilla pancake batter from Naked Harbor protein smoothie to start the day off right mm -mm -mm. look at that goodness I'm gonna do some seeds on top and I reckon a little bit of peanut butter would be good. Did I just delete the health aspect from this smoothie? Maybe. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cheers. I really don't want to go on this walk, guys. I'm cold, I'm tired, I've got my period. I just want to go to sleep. I'm back from the 
grocery store, I got these Simpsons Pantry high protein, low carb wraps. And let's make a breakfast burrito. I'm just gonna start by frying my Linda McCartney vegetarian quarter lib burger. Quarter pounder burger. <laughs> I always say lib. One of my most toxic traits. I'm just sauteing some mushrooms as well and I'm gonna like break up this burger just so it'll fit in my wrap. I'm just gonna add a little bit of cheese. Burger, mushroom, a little bit of sauce and some rocket or arugula as you like to call it in America. I made it pretty big, not gonna lie. Oh no, oh God, there's a hole in my burrito. You know what, it's gonna taste good and that's all that matters. My burrito is holding on for dear life right now, but let's taste it. Mm, that is so good. It's Saturday and of course I have left my workout until 6 p.m. Now I'm gonna do Chloe Ting. We're going back to Chloe guys. Her 45 minute full body fat burn workout. I'm scared because this is a cardio workout and I don't love cardio. I'm wearing this all black moment today. I love the way that this t-shirt gives you like an hourglass moment. I just feel like such class when I wear an all black fit. Okay, I'm just putting off the workout now, so let's get into it. sweaty one. I forgot how brutal Chloe is and I'm proud of myself for getting that one done because I really did not want to work out. Feeling really good though. Hi guys, it's Sunday. Sunday fun day. I am just not feeling a high intensity workout at all today. So I think I'm gonna try and do some yoga. If it was like 30 minutes, it would feel so much more attainable. But the fact that it's 45 minutes for some reason makes it seem so much harder, <laughs> even though it's 15 minutes more. Pregnancy yoga third trimester. Honestly, I think I need that right now. Okay, I found this 45 minute slow flow deep stretch yoga for flexibility. So we're gonna try this and this will be my 45 minute indoor workout. I feel like this is gonna unleash my gut. I'm 
light as a feather. I move with the breeze. I am the earth. minute workout but I reckon it was a pretty good workout. I mean you don't want to have the most intense workout every single day or you're just gonna burn yourself out. That was really nice. I feel very relaxed. I think I'm a yoga fan. Okay 45 minute indoor workout done. Hi guys it's day 15 and it is currently 10 p.m. I didn't finish all my tasks today and I failed the challenge guys failed it on day 15 so we only managed 14 days and it feels so good to give up <laughs> I was not wanting to keep on going with this challenge it's just so many things to do in a day and working out seven days a week is not for me okay guys I'm logging off good night even though I only completed 14 days, I still saw a massive improvement. So here's my before and after. I think switching to a lower carb diet has definitely helped my bloating, but most importantly, I feel amazing on the inside. And I still got my cute little squishy belly. And there you have it guys. It's the end of the 75 hard challenge. Did I complete 75 days? Obviously not. If you guys watch this and you have done the 75 hard challenge or you are going to try it, let me know in the comments down below how many days you managed to complete. So some things I liked about this challenge and some things I didn't like. I do think it's a really good way to start some healthy habits. For example, reading 10 pages a day, I thought was really fun. I really enjoyed that. It's about a week later now and I've still been drinking almost a gallon of water a day. So I think that's a healthy habit that I am taking into my future. Something that I found really annoying and really unnecessary was taking a progress picture every day. But for something that says it's not a looks-based challenge, I don't know why you would wanna take a progress picture every day. Doesn't seem to be quite lining up for me, Andy. Just gonna say that. And I think it's healthy to have at least one rest day a week. I think working out twice a day every single day is pretty excessive. Also, you guys know I don't like the following a diet mentality. I think people can get really obsessive with diets and it could possibly lead to an unhealthy relationship with food. And no cheat meals? That's not a life worth living. So I'm sorry if this wasn't as motivational as my usual workout videos. I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed that I wasn't able to complete the challenge, but I just wanted to be honest. It just ain't for me, guys. I'm not that girl. So there you have it, guys. That was my experience trying the 75 hard challenge. Also remember, if you wanna shop any of the Gymshark outfits that I was wearing in this video, they will all be linked in the description box. And those are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission and I would really appreciate if you use them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I was gonna say that I enjoyed filming it for you, but I definitely did not enjoy every single day. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and also subscribe and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at Susie J Todd and on TikTok. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.